Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of books that I don't think that you should buy. Now, you're going to have to decide what's in your best interest. After all, it's your money and your collection, but what I want to do is to highlight just a couple of books that have come to my attention that I don't think are right for people right now. That doesn't mean that that won't change should some things happen, but as of right now, the books that we're going to talk about are ones that I think people should stay away from, and we're going to look at a range of ages and also rationales for why potentially now is not the time to buy. With that said, let's get to the list. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples. The very first book that I want to look at is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 300, a book that is beloved by the comic book community. This is the first full appearance of Venom, the first issue inked by Todd McFarlane, and also one of the most homaged covers around. Uh, but again, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 300, we are specifically going to look at the 9.8 because that is that that's the that's the watermark for me when it comes to this book and honestly for a lot of modern comics it is all about the 9.8 so we're going to look at this one and this book has a current FMV according to Go Collect of $4,800. But let's go ahead and drill into some of the data. And what we see here is that in, uh, what is see, in June, in June, uh, this book is basically going for $5,000. And if you back up to, let's see if we can get to January. January, it was going for about $6,000, uh, $6,074 uh, to be specific. Uh, this, the price of this book has declined by about $1,000 just looking at the the, the January to, to June. But even with that $1,000 decline in price, I feel like this book is still too much money. I feel like the, the price, the asking price of it is, is honestly too much. And if you back up and you go all the way to May of 2021, this book was going for $8,700, which is a tremendous, that is a tremendous amount of money. But drilling into some of the data, if you go back to like the rolling one year average, you can see that this book has basically been sitting at about $5,700. The 90 day is 5,000 and the uh, 30 day is 5,000. So again, while there has been in the near term, uh, a, a pretty interesting decline in price, I still personally feel like this is a book that folks may want to stay away from. It's, it's an amazing book. It has a tremendous amount of history, but the asking prices are still out there. I mean, look at this. Someone actually offered this book up for $9,000 on eBay. And uh, while I'm confident that someone did not pay $9,000 for it, it's, that's just... That's a that's an absurd amount of money to kind of put out there. Uh, we'd have to tear a peek what the actual final price was. More than likely, it probably falls in line with what we're seeing here in terms of you know roughly five thousand dollars for this book. Uh, but again, I, I personally think that a lot of modern books should be at a nine point eight. That that is my uh, personal preference and bias. But let's take a look at uh, a nine point six. There there are roughly. Uh, 3,700 copies of a 9.6 of Amazing Spider-Man 300 on the census with a healthy number of sales, a current FMV of around $1,500. Let's go ahead and look, look at this one and see specifically what's happening here. You can see that in June, the book is basically going for, or was going for uh, $1,700. If you back up to May, $1,600. You back up to March, $1,900, all the way to January, about $2,000. And again, even here, your one year, about 1,900, your 30 day average, about 17. I still feel like this book is is overpriced. Um, again, personal personal opinion here. Uh, this is a book that I would potentially stay away from and, and try to see what happens to it over time. And you look at the census count again, there's 3,700 uh, copies of this book. And let's, let's go ahead and look at maybe a, a 9.4. There are 4,300 copies of that on the census, which is a healthy number. Let's go ahead and look at that and see what's happening over here. 
Um, you can see, uh, again, the, the most recent price for this book is around a thousand dollars. You back up just a little bit. It's still sitting at about a thousand all the way to the beginning of the year, about 1200. So not a huge fall off of, of this book. And again, uh, this is one, even at a 9.4 that I would potentially stay away from. You know, I think that there's, um, potential for, uh, the value of this book to decline and, and there is ample inventory, right? If you look at what's happening at a 9.8 to a 9.6 to a 9.4, there is a lot of inventory out there, which means that it's not like this book is hard to find. I mean, look at look at the overall census count. This is not a hard book to find. And again, there there is potentially room for uh, the the price of this book to actually come down. So let me go ahead and show you all uh, another example here. And and what I'll attempt to do is to show uh, different types of books, different rationales for why I suggest potentially staying away from them. This book right here, Incredible Hulk, issue number four forty nine, has suddenly become hot as this is the first appearance of the. Th Thunderbolts and the Thunderbolts are all the rage right now, all the rage. Uh, and again, we are going to look at a 9.8 for this book. And you can see that uh, the census count is sitting at 656. There have been a robust number of sales at around 400 with an FMV of 650. Let's go in and drill into this one. And you can see here that as of late, the, the price for this book was $700 in June. In May, it was sitting at $487. You're basically looking at a $218 increase from May to June. And let's back it up a little bit. Let's go back and see if we can get January. January, the book was sitting at $6. 69. So in essence, what we have here is a book that has suddenly become hot and exceeded essentially its one year average, right? You can look at over here at the right hand side and see some of that. The one year rolling average 688, the 90 day 650 and the 30 day is 700 uh, and six dollars. There are roughly 600 and uh, 56 copies of this book on the CGC census. Uh, my, my general feeling is that the, the price of this book is going to increase. I feel like this is one because it is hot, because the Thunderbolts are all the rage, we are probably going to see some more hockey stick action here uh, with the with the value of this book as we start to get into some of the, the July data. Uh, that That's my feeling. And, and to that point, because it's a hot book, this is one that I personally would stay away from. The challenge, of course, is that people like to jump on what's hot. And by jumping on what's hot, that means that you're potentially going to overpay. And that means that the price is probably going to continue to go up as more people put those books on the market in order to capture uh, that value increase. And so this is one, again, that I would stay away from the time to have bought this book potentially would have been in May. <laughs> the potential time to buy this book would have been in May when the book was going for $487. Uh, and then you could have, you, you could ride it all the way up. But now that it's $700 and, and probably headed towards $800, uh, this is one that I would probably stand down from. So regardless, regardless of how awesome or not uh, the Thunderbolts might be. So let's look at another example. And this is an older book. We're going to look at an older book here but one that also has become suddenly hot as a result of things that are actually coming out. Uh, this is Avengers. Avengers issue uh, number nine. This is a, a Jack Kirby Stan Lee book uh, from 1964, the first appearance of Wonder Man and also the death of Wonder Man. He was a one and done in and out super quick, uh, not necessarily the best cover here, but this book has become hot as there is a lot of excitement and speculation around the possibility of Wonder Man actually coming into the MCU. Uh, with this book, because it is an older Silver Age book, we are not going to be looking at 9.8s primarily because there are none, uh, but also because that's not necessarily a realistic uh, starting place for a Silver Age book in, in my mind. So we're actually going to look at the 8.0. And when we, we look look here, we can see that the census count is about 85. So the highest census count thus far 
Oh, actually, there is one uh, 9.8. Well, yeah, we're not going to start there because there's no sales data. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and look at the at the 8.0. There are 85 total copies on the census, which is the highest of the, the grades thus far. There have been a, a healthy number of sales at about 54. The FMV is sitting at $1,800. So let's go ahead and click on this and drill down into this data. And essentially what you see here is that in January, this book was going for $1,900, $1,900 was the most recent price and you you drop back let's look at january january it was fourteen hundred dollars that's basically a five hundred dollar increase from january to where the book is presently sitting and my belief is that this book is going to go higher as a result of the excitement and speculation around wonder man and you back up to let's see what where was this book sitting in november oh no uh, December, December, 2021, this book at, was sitting at less than uh 700, I'm sorry, less than a thousand dollars. You go back even further to March 21, this book was going for $1,500. So it has definitely exceeded, uh, it's, it's a high watermark. And my guess is that this is probably the new high watermark for this book overall. I don't think that there's been a tremendous amount of demand for this book, uh, just generally speaking. And again, to that point, is this a book that you want to jump on, given that it's never been this high before? So there, there's no there's no telling where it might actually go. There's no telling whether there's any sustainability to what we are actually seeing. And let's be completely honest. How many people can say that they are a Wonder Man fan? And is there such a thing as a Wonder Man fan? So you have to be be cautious about where you're spending your money, how you're spending your money. Uh, if you're getting into it for speculation and to turn some mutt, turn, turn a fast buck, I think that's a, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But the question you have to ask yourself is if you pay $2,000 or $2,200 that like someone recently paid here back on, what was that? Uh, June 20th. How high will the book go for you to be able to turn a meaningful profit on this book? And what happens if no news actually comes out about Wonder Man? What happens then? What's also interesting is that when you look over here again at the census count, you can see that the census count for this book is relatively low. There are not a ton of copies of Avengers uh, issue number nine on the census for whatever reason. So let's back up a little bit. Let's take a look at a couple of more grades here. Let's look at a 7.0. There are 96 copies of this book on a census. FMV is, is uh, 900 and $25. We can go ahead and click on that. And what you see again, you see a nice little hockey stick action going there. The book is going for about a thousand bucks. As of late in December, it was $600. Uh, it's high water mark, uh, was 1100. So it has not exceeded its high water mark, but my guess is that it will very, very quickly. You can see someone was attempting to get, uh, that old price. Someone was attempting to get that old price right here back in May, May, um, 29th. They were trying to get that, but, but not a whole lot of sales. Look at this. Not a, not a ton in the way of sales activity. You see some activity here in 2021. You see uh, just a, a couple of sales here in 2022. And again, this is what great a 7.0. There are 96 copies of this book out there. Uh, so not a whole lot of transactions going down with this. Let's look at one more. Let's look at a 6.0 and the 6.0 has 105 books on the census, about 65 sales and FMV of $575. And again, you can see, uh, you can see a definite, definite increase in the, the price for this book. It is currently sitting at about $600. You back up to, let's see if we can find January back up to January. The book was $473. So a nice little run up there. It appears that the high water mark for this book, at least at a 6.0, uh, was about $700. Uh, what was that price? Uh, 675 to be specific. So a little bit below its high water mark, but again, may actually trend in the direction of, of actually exceeding that number. So again, this is a book that I personally would not touch right now. Uh, the time to have bought this book would have been a while ago, back when prices were a little low, not necessarily as prices are increasing for this one. So I want to show one, one additional example. And this, this is a book 
that I'm, I'm kind of sort of on the fence about, but I, I feel like it also is one that I would not necessarily touch right now. This is Darth Vader issue number three, probably the the hottest book of of this entire uh, run of books. And this is the the first appearance of several different characters. A lot of speculation around this one because of everything that is happening with Disney Plus and Disney around uh, Star Wars. So a lot of excitement around this one. But let's go ahead and look at the 9.8. Uh, when we look in at the when we drill into this one, what we can see is that the book was going for in June uh, around three hundred and seventy dollars. We back up a little bit to let's see if we can get back to January. In January, the book was going for uh, five hundred dollars. So you're basically looking at about one hundred and forty dollar decline in the value of this book from January to June. And so a lot of people would say, well, this might be one that I want to pick up. There's a dip here in the price. And again, you can see that illustrated here, the one year rolling average 431 down to 369 in the 30 day. You know, my, my challenge with this book is not necessarily the, you know, the, the decline, right? The decline makes it look attractive, but what I struggle with when it comes uh, to this book is the fact that there are uh, 6,300 total graded copies of this book on the census, 6,300 total copies of this book on the census and 3,500 of them are sitting at a 9.8, an additional 1,600 are a 9.6. And I know for a fact, uh, that additional copies of this book are presently being graded by CGC. This book shows up on the top 10 most submitted books into CGC list. And my, my point here is that you see a price decline, but while there is that price decline, there are a ton of copies of this book already graded on the census with more being graded right now. And so to that point, a lot of supply maybe, maybe some demand in my mind that might actually lead to a lower price long term. Cause I don't think that there's a ton of demand, but there is some demand, but with this amount of inventory and more headed out into the market, this is a book that again, I might sit tight on, even if I were a star Wars, Darth Vader type of fan, uh, this might be one that I want to sit back on and kind of wait to see what happens. Or you try to find one, if you can find a smoking deal that is well below the FMV, that could be the time that you want to snag this book. So again, just wanted to show a couple of examples here of, of books that I potentially would stay away from. At the end of the day, you are going to have to make your own decisions about where and how you want to spend your hard-earned money. But my goal was to provide you with some things to think about. With that said, we are going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel for whatever reason, I want to encourage you to do that. And that way you get to uh, stay tuned to any of the content that comes out from the channel. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Rolling, rolling, rolling.